This next exercise is really helpful when trying to improve the biomechanics of your shoulder girdle. And because our shoulder has more range of motion than any other joint in our body, we have to have a lot of muscular control to make sure our movements are accurate. And that requires that we have stability as well as mobility. So in order to be able to learn how to stabilize our shoulder girdle, we have to first understand how our shoulder blade moves. So this exercise helps to emphasize that. And I think it's really helpful if you have a foam roller. I like a half foam roller because I like to put the flat side up because it allows you to feel your shoulder girdle, your shoulder blades on the edges of the, of the roller. So you're gonna lay down on it with your tailbone here and your head here. <coughs> it's also tippy, so it lets you use your abdominals to help to stabilize as well, which is just another multitasking element of this particular exercise. So grab a couple weights, and I like to use a weight that's a little bit heavy, but not too stressful for my shoulder. And we're gonna bring these weights straight up. And be here for just a minute and let the weight kind of balance on your hands so you can feel the stacking of your bones. So you can feel that if we're aligned well, our bones take a lot of the load. And that's, they're actually designed to do that so that we're not having to hold an effort with our muscles. We're actually able to push through our bones and allow our bones to take the weight. That's an important concept when we're thinking about biomechanics. It's efficiency. So feel that for a second. Then the next thing I want you to feel is what it's like to have your shoulders come up towards your ears and then down to your hips. Up to your ears and down to your hips. And the whole time you're doing this, be mindful about not letting your arms move up and down. They stay straight toward the sky and don't let your elbows bend. The only thing that moves is your shoulder blade and it gives you the chance to really tune into that. And you can feel it slide on the sides of the foam roller if you're on a foam roller. So that's great. Then the next movement we're gonna do is we're gonna punch to the sky so you'll feel your shoulder blades move around your rib cage and then we're gonna let our shoulders drop down and back. So they're gonna come up toward the sky and then they're gonna drop down and back. So watch for wavering of your arms, keep them straight, punch directly up and let them come straight down. Also resist the temptation to let your elbows bend, keep them straight. So punch up and down and up and down. And just work with these two movements until they feel fluid, smooth, and easy till you can do them with no substitution in your elbows and you don't feel your spine lifting. Keep your spine nice and flat against the foam roller. So up and down and punching down and back. Once you get that, the two motions you wanna combine is the dropping down into the foam roller and the dropping of your shoulder blades towards your hips. That's a nice seated position. And what's really good about this is you can feel your spine on the foam roller and breathe into your back between your shoulder blades to keep that depth and volume between your shoulder blades, which is really important to access power for your shoulder girdles. And so once you've got that neutral position, you can start to move your arms in a little bit of a circle one way and then the other way. And just small circles are great and it really challenges your core, your obliques, as well as your rectus abdominis to keep your spine stable on the foam roller. Good, so you're gonna do clockwise and counterclockwise and the only place you're moving from is your shoulder joint. Your, rib your um, shoulder blade should not be cheating and moving around, you should feel it set. So after you do a couple repetitions, when I'm working with my patients, I'll have them stop, punch, drop, ears, hips, and then circle again. And maybe just do two reps, and then stop, punch, drop, ears, hips, and then circle the other way for a couple reps. Because it's hard to break that habit of substituting with our shoulder blades when we just need to be moving our arms. So this is a really, really helpful pattern. Good.